Hey what's going buddy, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're playing some more Danganronpa. But today we're going to be doing the class trial, so this is going to be a longer episode than normal. Just because usually you say five months of them wrong, and then you would know. Uh, before we start, I'm just going to do a bit quick run around. Uh, I'm going to be going back doing two videos. Uh, not two videos, a uh, video every other week. Every other day, not week. Just, uh, it makes it... I so I'm not like, rushing to make videos. Uh, so plus it's just I enjoy doing it like that. I wanted to get to this one, which is the main reason I actually switched to doing every uh, every day because I had a back pile of videos. But I can't make take my time with this one. This one's fun. Uh, maybe if I get a back pile, I'll go back to doing every day just to get the back pile finished with, so it's not half half a fucking year of videos. That's kind of exaggerating, but you know what I mean. But yeah, uh, yeah. So we can just go ahead and get started. Well, you probably already realized that we're going back to uh, every other day because we've been doing that for a little bit now. But <sighs> kind of decided that before those videos aired. So ignore any of those comments I made in that one. Are you kidding me? What the heck is this mountain? When did it get here? Never mind that. I don't even make a mountain shit like Monokuma. No way. That story, that story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in this after all. You mean what Byakuya said earlier? You are right. Byakuya, we need his we need his knowledge. <laughs> so I can't believe he's dead. <laughs> What happened to Gundam and Fuka uh, Fuyahiko? Um, I didn't mention it. it. Appears they aren't here yet. I got it. Uh, I know they probably ran away. No way. Oh hell no. There's no way I'll let them escape. You know? Look, I dragged this one back here. Don't fuck with me. I'm telling you, let me go. Hey. Hey now. Come on keep now. acting violent. I might just, I might just eat you up. Hey. Hey Fuyahiko, what are you doing all this time? Huh? Nothing. I wasn't really doing anything. Just chilling in my room, and I suddenly heard that fat bastard got killed. Who the fuck cares about that, anyways? You. You say something so irresponsible. Do you understand? We've been doing our best to investigate this murder, even though we don't want to. We don't want to just to survive. Wait. Yeah, Haru. That's enough. You too, Fuhiko. Dumbass. Um. Guess we're waiting for Gundam. What happened? I am right Sam. here. Now then, Remember this well. Begin. Our main character arrived when he tends to. Huh? Hey. Seems you noticed it too. <laughs> I did that, I'm right. Well now. Now let's have them all together. Secret wait. But please wait a second. What's this? My my Monami. Just what are you doing here? No one asked for you. I well, what? Come on. You actually want to join in? You Do you want to taste masochist. how powerless you are in the class trial? You can be your masochist than I thought. Special oh well. Service. My big brother who dots on his little sisters. I shall allow your special participation. See ya later. I'll go ahead and wait for you guys, so hurry over. Huh? Toast come, but now how do we get here? I don't see any doors or vehicles. What's going on? You mentioned something about a secret entrance. What's it? Secret entrance. What the? Something's shaking. It's dangerous. Everyone, please get it down. <laughs> Something came out. Could it be? Is he telling us enter it? What? It's just suspicious or even Crimson Steel Elephant Mag Mega Z is channeling with fear. Oh. So totally suspicious. Hey, 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 hey! Just forgive me, seriously. Just forgive me already. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Hey, why don't you just stop here? I mean, none of this is real anyways. Like, not even real. Like, no way, no way, no way! Stupid! Complaining won't get us anywhere. We really want a man. If you really are a man, man up for God's sake. Come this far. We have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right. There's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. Mm. Is everyone's decision? I'll just follow you guys. Yep. If this were a video game, I'd have a very high difficult level. It'll be, it'll, let's do our best to clear this game. Shaking with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped on the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll run away. All I could do is stare upward intensely as the elevator carried, escalator carried me. And each of us enter Monokuma Rock. Monokuma Rock. Okay, 
so I'm just straight into the huh? other. This is an elevator. I see. Tara Rock is an elevator. Once again, Monokuma is doing what he pleases. However, if he's gone this far and made something like this, I don't think he's playing around. Uh. Even so, we're going pretty deep. You're right. Apparent unnerving clatter sound inside my head. I soon realized it was a sound of my teeth. All I could do was uh, purse my lips tightly so everyone else couldn't hear it. There we were, listening to unpleasant roars as the elevator plunged deeper and deeper into the earth. How fucking far are we on? Some time passed before the elevator finally finished sending, and then the elevator door slowly opened. Welcome! This is a class trial for you! Would you like? It's a special place that will uh, decide your fates. Why you? What the hell are you thinking? Locking us in a shitty looking place like this. Don't fuck with me! Are you fucking crazy? Don't mess with me, asshole. <laughs> Complain all you like. I'm used to it by now. <laughs> Come on, you're wasting your time and energy. Hurry up and take your seats where your names are written. Looks like everyone knows, even if we try to resist, it won't change a thing. Just as Monokuma ordered, we walked around the seats and we had to be we had been signed. From this point on, we now find who killed Byakua. The ultimate affluent Purunji, Byakuya Togami. He was overly critical, arrogant, and condescending. But he was also a strong sense of responsibility. As we were panicked, he accepted his role as leader and tried his very best to keep us together. A guy like him got murdered. The person who did this is one of us. Can't believe it. There's no way you can believe it. But if it really is true, we need to find out by any means possible. Because that's our only option. There's no way for us to survive unless we sacrifice the killer. And so, this light th uh, threatening trial blowing with hope and despair has begun. Yep, let's save. Do I have any skills? Does not look like it. Oh, uh, we can just go and start the crush off. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will earn the right to leave this island. S such a cruel rule. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Most definitely. There's no doubt that the blackened is lurking among you. Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? By the way, this class trial is going to be 100% fair. So there's no need to worry. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course. Do you hate me that Monami. much? Now, let's begin. Y you're telling us to begin, but what are we supposed to do? No complaining, let's just settle this with our fists. Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Byakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall, huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, yeah, what you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Huh? What does that mean? Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. Then, let's start with that mystery. The reason that Byaku's body was discovered under the dining room table. The uh, dining room table. We need to start with that, but ultimately we need to find out who murdered him. We can do that. No, thinking about it, if is a waste of time. We have to do this no matter what. So the class trial has starting started. From this point on, I'll provide some tutorials of every important moment. Sorry, but please excuse my irritating rudeness as things progress during the class trial. Now we'll engage. Yep. Concept debates. Two. 
We got truth bullets. Yeah, we know this already. Okay, I think we know this one. I think these are about the same, so we're just gonna skip through them. Oh, we're starting off fresh, huh? Why was Byakuya's body in a place like that? His body was underneath the table at the very back of the dining hall. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. Obviously, by hiding the body, they tried to delay its discovery like a dog burying a bone. Okay. Why was Biak in a place like this? Body was under at the very back. After the killer murdered Biak, they probably moved the body there. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. No, I don't think the killer moved the body. Huh? Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when we found it under the table. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through it. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I see. I get your point. Oh, and here I thought I had a genius idea. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. Shut up, Yoko. I respond better to praise, you know. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Yakuya was probably killed under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? So Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown. And get then, the knife. Shortly thereafter, we found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. The hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Hmm. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. The reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party. Don't you think? The reason Biaka is over on the table is connected to what Biaka was doing during the party, then it's probably. Uh, uh, Wait, maybe this? I think that's wrong. So the reason Biaka is over on the table. Oh, I get. Fuck me, I'm stupid. The knife. Make sure there's nothing about else but the knife there. Yeah. I can prove it with yeah, this. The knife. I'm just stupid. Don't mind me. It probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. Knife? Oh! You mean that thing that obviously screams, I am the murder weapon! Biaka, you probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in order to get it, he moved under the table. Was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. No. That's not possible. What? You seem rather confident about that. Of course. I have proof to back me up. Do you? <laughs> this is almost like a real trial. Shut, shut up, Morakova. Uh, so, and yeah, but for now, yep, various points. Skip. We know this already. We played these games before. We have knife, blunt statement table, Captain Ford, knife and goggles. I'm sure Byakuya ducked under the table during the blackout. That sounds correct. Thanks. If that's the case, during the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands 
must have seen the killer take the knife. But it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. Of course yeah, you think that. Couldn't see in the dark either. Nope, be a dive vision guys, bitch. No, that's wrong. No, Yakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? What are you sweating for, bitch? He was using those night vision goggles we found under the table. He could have seen what was happening. So, are you saying Byakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Did Your you reasoning do it? Is out of focus. Did I just get... No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Did I just get objected? I just got objected. Wait, what the fuck? What did I get objected? No, what the fuck? on? I, 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 no, I did. The, I am the one who does the objecting here, bitch. The other way around? Seriously, the killer used those night vision goggles, not the Akuya. You were surprised? Yeah. Just between you and me. I was surprised. Just kidding. I'm sorry. Now then. In this kind of argument, uh, you will go on one-on-one -on -one down for rebuttal showdown. In this mode, you have to counter the other person's claim. Okay. Peace. Based on the shape of the remarks. Another and you take advantage and bottom right, just sharp this counter. Uh, this number of times, you can cut a marking around. Okay. I don't understand this. If that happens, you'll end up to some weak spots. However, you can't normally cut. Runs the campaign weak spots instead of using skewer. Then move towards the lower party advantage. Plus, uh, use root name weak spots to brush off. Of course, we don't. Are the correct truth bullets? It's truth. Oh, truth blade. I'm terribly sorry, I appears I've been deleted. Contacting you. Uh, in truth mode. Okay. So let's see how this works. If you just use common sense. The killer obviously used those night vision goggles. That's gotta be it. I can't back down. Oh, shit. Just a little more. I draw something. If out. you just use cup, the killer obviously used those night vision. That's gotta be it. Where's your proof that the killer used them? Because if they use night vision goggles. Then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, in reality, that's so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Oh, shit. Crap. Because if they used my... Then they could have killed Byakuya even... I mean, in reality, so those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Because if they use night vision goggles, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the. I mean, in reality. So those goggles were planned. The killer brought them to the crime scene. I don't understand. Crap. Because if they use night what? vision goggles. Oh. Then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. I mean, I'm stupid. Reality, don't mind me. So those goggles I were planned. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Allow me to cut Don't through those words. I'm stupid. No. I am in the closet. Yakuya was no definitely shit. the one who what brought the those night vision goggles. Definitely? But why? Inside the Duralumen case Byakuya had with him during the party. He found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumen case as well. Woohoo! I said assume! Ibuki never uses such clever language! Shut up, Ibuki. Plus, Byakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Then, was that knife inside the case too? No. If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. Shut up, Terry You totally mean that in a perverted way. Number two. No, it's not possible. The knife is sitting in the dining hall. The duct tape. Tonight's I main see. dish. 
There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Huh? Duct tape? They probably hid the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the table. Oh, so that's why we found duct tape there. Yes. So Byakuya was thorough. Even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. You heard it there. That's his right. This may be off topic, but why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case, too. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. He probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? Gundam, stop it. You think so too, right, Hajime? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can prove it with this. I like his eyes. Everyone, his eyes can cool. you please take a look at this? Kind of look like bullets. Oh, they got crosshairs. Not bullets, crosshairs. Be careful. Yep, we know this already. Hey, the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent to him. So, who's the someone? Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Yeah, Wasn't me! Well. Are you sure? The only lies I tell are friendly lies! Those are still lies! It doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Byakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. Sounds about right. But the letter might have been just a little prank. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. His strong sense of responsibility made him believe the letter was legitimate. Oh, he should have told us he received a threatening letter. If he had, we would have panicked. Byakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? I see. A strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his undoing. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? Well, obviously, the killer. The killer. Yeah, I mean, sounds right. Is it really one of us? Who is it? Among us who the one who killed you? <laughs> Enough already! Show yourself, you coward! If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place. But I still can't believe it. Someone in this room killed Byakuya, there's no way I can believe that. Yet. Um, pardon me. Can I say something, please? What is it, Miss Sonia? Uh, weirdo. I regret that I must return to this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. Okay, then he's the mark. Glowing paint? I see! What if the glowing paint was the mark? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint. Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? But painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. Which means it was you! Peko Pekoyama? Peko killed poor Byakuya? 
Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? Kabuki, stop it. I am not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. That was way too How quick. Can you I can believe her so easily. But with Echo's height, I don't think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. I, I don't care about a technicality like that. Echo's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. Quit being a Yasa hero. Tripping a breaker trapped in the office. Echo's the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happens? A oh, blue color beast rocks start appearing. Color beast spots. Argue spots. Blue color weak spots. Color argue spots. By shooting argue spots with two bullets, you'll need to flip your way of thinking. Instead of arguing that the other person says me contains lies or mistakes. As far as two bullets to prove the other person says me is correct. When you trip the blue bullets, merge with their weakness, you become uh, logically sound arguments. It's a little hard in here, but now you must infer whether it's best to argue or agree based on what's conveyed. Push escape, you can just. Okay, I was like an apple. Alright, so we have a bunch of accounts. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time! That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the blackout. What happened to your guard duty? Sorry. Oh, you weren't in the office? That's clearly a desperate excuse! Uh, I need to go look at the, what the past ones were. Building. I kept trying to use the bathroom before the party started, but some more. I'm using the whole sign. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time! You also been hoping, so I don't know what to Crap. say. Um, oh, Pekka was in the you shoot the ones caused the That's impossible. Huh? What? Because I was not in, not even before the blackout. There we go. I agree with that. Okay, I understand it now. No, I think Pekka was telling the truth. Mm hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekka. I don't want to hear it from you. You're crushing on Sonia. Yeah, it's nothing like that at all. Nekomaru's account is actually Pekka's alibi. I've been trying to use it many times, the door just won't open at all. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Uh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? Well, and the fucking... I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. I... I guess that would be true. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier. There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. It's shit. <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. Nakumaru. Hey. Weren't you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? Nakamura probably was. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? Don't worry. The smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you, so you can trust me. I, I said it's fine. <laughs> but still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Did you get excited? Teru Teru, you- Seriously, stop it. Hajime is so tired of everyone's shit, and he just started. Oh, you're so great. But still, 
Your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? L laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened. No, yeah, the point. The question is whether the back of someone was a coincidence. Some intention caused it. Depending on the answer, the outcome of the child changed drastically. Okay. So we have a knife, AC timer, knife vision got um, bears and pearls. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it... You brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Taro Taro cooked the food, how suspicious! I, I wouldn't do anything like that! Laxatives would ruin the taste! Might be what we need then. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything. Now that you met, you brought food to the off just a little bit from the might have been some cooked the I wouldn't do anything like that. Laxatives would ruin the taste. Okay. Uh, I don't Crap! Yeah. Um Did you eat so anything we have. weird? So you have the knife. The I AC don't timer. remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it, you brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you? Okay. No, good. that's wrong. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess. No, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Yeah. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Akane ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine. Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing a scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. What the fuck did you say, bitch? Cease this bickering. Let's just dismiss Pekko's stomach ache as a coincidence. And go back to discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. T trashy skank? As long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself is actually important. You make clear how the blackout occurred. Alright, AC timer then. Also, can we address? You need to be a bitch. Uh, Maybe it's this one actually then. Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. You, can you reach did the head? Did they throw a stone and hit it? No. Maybe they used a remote control? No. They probably messed with the breaker. No. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Wait, that one not it? I was agreeing with her. Like, who tripped the breaker? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. Did they throw a stone and hit it? Maybe they used a remote. They probably. It does not have to be. They may have tampered with, or maybe they caused a power surge. There we go. I agree with that. This is me an issue again. I'm gonna have to start Baker's edge more than just like straightforward blunt bluntness. It's just as Mahiru said. The blackout was caused by a power surge. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout when you found them right after the blackout the irons were still on right so by leaving those irons on in the storage room they deliberately caused a power surge yeah it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout stupid fool oh god all right Nakamar, let's go hold on a second let me speak too what the heck you say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! Why? Uh, if the 
irons in the storage room caused the blackout. Then for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage room? Then that means everyone who was in the dump when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. Uh, I can't back down. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the black if the irons, then the killer had to Shit. go to the storage room before that and turn on the iron. Now do you intend to take back what you said? Shit. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the if the irons caused the blackout. So if the irons caused the blackout. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. If the irons caused the blackout. Allow me to cut through those words. I was torn between those two. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. The air conditioners! The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m.? Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time, too! I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see. I understand. Indubitably. Indubitably? They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance and used the irons to nearly max it out. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout Indubitably? Miss Sonia, not you too. What do you want about? the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Dun dun dun! Is she right? Such a hateful bear! You deserve to die a thousand deaths! A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Good. Piss off. Shut up! You guys just stay quiet! I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, I feel regret. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. And maybe the murder. You wouldn't have been able to reach it. No. The breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. I don't reach. know why. It's so fucking high. It's Resetting so stupid. the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible. No matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. Shut up. That's all right. You don't have to worry. Because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. Huh? There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. Nagato, you are very suspicious. In right the now. end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. N Nagito? W what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. For now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. You've been the only one in the building, what though. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Unfortunately, it's the truth. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be because there's no way any of us could be a killer. You, you're changing your story again? Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we should all just give up and die? Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. Yeah, I picked that up right now. <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me, 
because there's something wrong with you. Suspecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Not until I thought you were my friend. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. I... I don't want to do this either. <sighs> me too. Please, take me home already. <laughs> I want to go home and eat candy. Stop it. If everyone acts like this, I... I'm gonna... Everyone calm down. We're all friends. Aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. That's wrong. I think. Did you say something? Cuz we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. Gundam, stop it. You know who the killer is? The killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious person. I see. Then care to tell me, what's this clue you're talking about? First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean before that. Before. Yes, now the killer got close to that table. And to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint in order to do that, they need to get close to the table while it was so dark. Let's try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful here. You pink haired bitch! The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um here it is. So I remember Kazushi saying he was... No, oh, no, maybe Nagato, because Nagato's right there, too. Say so I thought the camera was a clue. The killer is. That would remove from the table in the dark. He was shown in this diagram. First, we need to discuss how the killer was able to move to the table in the dark. The killer probably used something to help him move in the dark. Oh, this is new. Here! Yeah, they use a lamp. The killer must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. The desk lamp? I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. There was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. No, they could, so. Of course, there's no way they used the desk lamp. They could use cardboard. I can prove it with this! I like how my little hair they thing, the hair handle, on. shakes. They used its power cord. The power cord? They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table, then use the glowing paint to find the knife. And there's only one person here who could have done that. Who? The only person here could have possibly done it? Nagato. You're the only one! Nagito, it was you, wasn't it? Me? Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Which means, the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was... Nagito! <laughs> That's just a coincidence. I mean, you also could have been there to set up all the timers. But still, you had a chance, the irons. right? A chance to hide the knife under the table? The only chance to hide the knife under the table was when he was cleaning. I see! Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. That's... If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning it, you're the only one who could have done it. Seriously? That's all just a coincidence! If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another, I wonder... Is something like that even possible? Could it be? 
Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. Good trouble preparing this. You think this would happen? Whoever draws the chopsticks with a red mark on it will be charged with cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? Well, just admit it already! <laughs> Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Byakuya. <laughs> Nagito, say something! Okay, you're insane. <laughs> the ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death. Uh, how wonderful. How beautiful it is. Huh? Those eyes. Development of his eyes. Darkness in his eyes. Uh, stone brightly as if letters upon letters dark are folding into each other. As if hope and despair were... had been... Clearly mixed together. Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. No, you're not. Are you? I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone. I don't right? believe you. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. He wasn't killed by being stabbed to death with a knife. He had the knife in his hands. The holes enough. We can clearly get under the floor too. And he was skewered to death. Which means it what uh, you're just crazy it just me or does he seem a little nuts right now it's not but you i never expected byakuya to have night vision goggles because of that we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table and well you all saw how that played out but with a twist ending like this i think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery <laughs> Byakuya performed admirably. J just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Part of that, right? Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Me? Lie? That's outrageous! There's no way someone like me could ever lie to you guys. I understand better than anyone else that I'm ultimately worthless. Too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. Too disdainful to actually try at anything. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. All right then, Mr. Depresso. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! All right, where the fuck did that come from? He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. Just like me. Excuse me? <laughs> That's quite the hobby you have there. But, like, now's not really the time to bring it up. There's some good movies, but okay. This guy, is he, is he the real Nagito? Hey, Nagito! If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at. But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? I think 
somewhere deep in my heart. Maybe he actually was trying was to kill. Probably hoping to but he got uh, would stop my shit got messed up and sailed. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. Are you making fun of us? By threatening Yakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. Then, how uh, the old looking building near the hotel? Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. In doing so, Nagito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? That reminds me. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. Well, not only is our store packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see it in there in full of cobwebs. I was busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. Stay there for too long, I think it might be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you guard the case in the office? Oh, I get it. If Paco was guarding the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. The threatening letter, along with all your suggestions, it was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep. That's true, too. But you're wrong about one thing. Uh, huh? What? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a the worthless ultimate lucky student. Is your real talent? I believe it is. I see! You're the ultimate lucky student. Then, did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks. But I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? Well, this is the red mark. Oh, some... But the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. But it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty. Just like I wanted. E enough. That... I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed... The despair it brings. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! Fine. Let's start the damn vote already. I'm ready to fucking kill this psycho. Please! Monokuma! P -p -p please wait! Huh? The fuck? Um. How should I put this? It is Nagito really the killer? Um, what are you saying? He's already confessed, hasn't he? I, I already know that, but... Uh, there's just something a little strange. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. Shut up, Hiyoko. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, for now? Might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? But we know who the killer is. Simply listening is acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. Put on light. White noise will appear to disrupt your reactions. Do you barely touch these lines? Yeah, 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 in case means explain just mean. Please don't worry, I'm going to fall into despair, even though this is meaningless. Let me say one thing. Wait, you won't be able to use shit down the white noise. That was one there. Okay, so. Don't have a silencer yet to get rid of the white noise. That's nice. Fuck me. Uh, hot dog, seriously, it's probably going to be. I think it's strange that. The killer is so obviously Nagito! Um... He has already confessed. Dancing, 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 dancing. Um, dancing. you know... 
That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Byakuya with the knife he did. No, that's not. He wasn't killed with a knife. Bitch. Cunt. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Mikan? What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. But uh, based on the entry wounds on Byakuya's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife. Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse. <laughs> no, no, not a whorehouse. Hey, why are you threatening her? Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has to be you. I can see you maybe tried to hey, kill him. Don't blame me. Mikan's the one who said it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Uh, hiding? Like, during the blackout, did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? After all this, what else do you intend to hide? Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off. Can you piss me off, Yoko. What happened during the blackout? Hmm. Oh, if you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision. Don't get distracted. Our lives are at stake, you know? Huh? Whose life is at stake? Seriously, how long is it going to take for you to understand the damn rules? Nobody can see in the dark. No matter how hard you think about it, the truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me? No, that's not it. Not it? What's not it? The truth is beyond your sight. No, I can't be in the dark. What the fuck? Hold, hold, hold the fuck on. Hold the fuck on. Hold the fuck on. Hold the fuck on. I'm confused at the moment. Find out what happened. There should be someone to find out what happened. Sorry. Oh, okay. I can prove it with this. Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard it. Isn't that right, Ibuki? Oh, reals? Don't act too surprised. You were the one who told me, remember? How everyone was shouting during the blackout? Uh, everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? Th this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. You are the one who sucks, you bitch. <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. However... After hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark. What the hell? What's going on here? Th this is... Ow! It almost sounds like... Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well, that's actually what happened. Huh? As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. You tried to kill him, but you I was it. actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. This will be a stop to me. I was trying to get the knife. You got shoved out from under the table before you could even grab it. Well, it sounds plausible. I mean, should really listen to what both sides at the time. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is. Ow! 
interpret it like that. Well, actually, I think about it, that sounds like exactly what happens. After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint. And I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on, and Byakuya's body was lying under the table. Huh. Hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning. The idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout. Yeah. It was all going was according to plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. What happened after that? Even I don't know. You failed? Th then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? Then we're right back to square one. How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth! Meaninglessness. What other word is brimming with so much despair? But you can't give up. You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. I feel really not pure. It's the sky really knocks on it for. No, there's no way I can say that. I just knew, I thought I knew him, but the whole time I didn't know anything about this guy. I don't know, his true character, it's simple as that. But now it's not time for it to dwell on that. We need to find Biakka's killer, by any means possible. Because if we don't, we, we will die here. Suspended. Well now. Guys will reach its climax, but here's a question for you. What is it? For those who have figured out who it is, how about we try and guess the killer challenge? Whoever fails to guess the right killer will have their save data melt like butter. We guess right, I'll reward you with $10 billion. Of course, those who don't know who hit it, the killers can just continue. On. Uh, uh, just kidding, you can't make a choice. There's no way we were to guess who the killer is. <laughs> And of course, of course there's no there you're so evil. Villain, you're truly a villain. The fuck just was just like an intermission. It was just it was a fucking intermission. Oh my god. Hi Mona me, and my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. The group's leader Byakuya got killed, and his killer is among this group of students. No, I'm not gonna believe it. Believe it, cause I believe in everyone. Sure. So do your best, and don't forget to save regularly. Shut up. Well, what now? If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. I was like seeing uh, Mona Me's body hanging in the background. Sh shut up. We'll be the judge of that. Y you say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. But, but there's another reason why I don't think Nagito is the killer. There's still more? Based on what we've discussed, Byakuya was killed under the table, right? Is there something wrong with that? Well, even if that's true, I feel Nagito looks... You know, clean. Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. Not even my own mother. That's sad. No, I'm not talking about your looks. Uh, I got really... There's no blood in my I see. Are you trying to say something like, why didn't Nagito have any blood stains on him? Yes, th that's it. Because under the table, there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere, right? There were even blood stains on the inside of the tablecloth. He stabbed Byakuya to death. It's strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. <laughs> You're not helping this. You just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been used to block the blood splatter. What do you think it could have been? Hmm. I guess we did see something I could have used. Isn't that right, Hajime? 
Since there's only things to use to put a block better. I can prove it with this. You're talking about the bloodstained tablecloth we found in the storage room, right? If there are blood stains on it, that settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? You mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen him? That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you... Wearing a tablecloth, going under the table, hitting a knife in a blackout, and stabbing someone. That's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys, too? Th then what does it mean? Maybe the killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. Huh? No, there's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. Even the inside of the tablecloth was bloody. So there's no denying Byakuya was killed there. But that doesn't mean where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are the same, right? I don't understand at all! Where's where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are huh? different? Ajibu. You look like you're onto something. Yeah, you got killed from under the... Really? Duck. But it sounds like a riddle. I feel like I'm onto something, but... Still not clear what that is. Under the table, but not under the table. If it's somehow possible, I like how they like keep on pushing the it to Just sense. fucking say it. Moving forward, we should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions and just choose the answer. I think. Seems we have to figure out important words. The improved pool. Uh, and go to the line up right. Move the key words. It's like a puzzle, little puzzle game. Various letters will be found across the screen. In all directions. There are two rules you must remember. Clash. You'll take damage. Two of the same level clash. They will fuse. You must take two of the same class. Okay. Uh, we're going to letter. Send the letter back in. You can only catch one letter at a time. Just be careful. Okay, okay. Okay. I think I, you know. Let's just let's just do this. Please, be out get stabbed. Place where the killer got did the stabbing on the same. Keeping those words as clues, I should put aside my, my perceptions. Talk about it. Something like something's coming to me. Just a little more. I'm feeling I can see something. Hang man's game. Ignore the fact that I did that. wasn't he I'm just stupid just kick my ass but... ah Okay. 
There we go. About fucking time. I've been waiting for you assholes to show up. About fucking time. Okay, this one's kind of annoying, but it, it. makes sense. No, they figured it out. I got it. The killer must have stabbed Yakia from under the floorboards. Under the floorboards? The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps, and there was no carpet laid out under the table. If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Yakia to death. If so, that means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. From where? And how? I don't know that yet, but I have a feeling there's someone here who does know. I think someone will never be in prison. That would be a good old friend Gundam. You're the only one! Hey Gundam, you dropped your earring in the dining hall, right? Are you referring to the Hellhound earring? About that earring. I said, are you referring to the Hellhound earring? About that Hellhound earring. You dropped it beneath the floorboards, right? Ah, there it is. I found it. Truly, this is the hell on your end. Seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm to the opening, or where I used to have probably not reach either. <laughs> Just a bit longer, and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. However, it's just as the old legend said. The Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me! Is it safe to say that that earring is the one hanging from your right ear? Huh? Could it be? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. And if he had it on by the time the class trial began, then that means Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So, Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> it's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. But I am different. With the power of my four dark devas of destruction, it is of no concern. Oh my god, you should know me. just explain this already. This is the evil fourth eye. Before the might of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. Listen no! To him. Man up and speak more clearly! Fine, I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. One of my four dark devas of destruction. Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. A secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the Hellhound earring with my own two hands. <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! You know what the power is that you have issues. There he goes blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous. You're just a breeder, you know. Anyway, it sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. Then that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Stab! 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 Hmm. Are you sure? You don't like stab, stab, stab? Should it sound more fleshy? Like... No, I'm not talking about your sound effects. 
You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, but that means they would have had to leave the party. Or they weren't in right? the party in the first place. Terra, Terra, you did it. So or Pekka. Was there anyone who was able to do that? Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboards. Who wasn't at the party again? I didn't participate, but I was guarding the entrance, remember? Monomi over there can be my witness, right? Yes! This Monomi over here is your witness! I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further, but I was unable to leave the bathroom. I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Um, the only person who wasn't at the party... Judging from the photo I took before the blackout... Wait, who wasn't there then? It obviously has to be oh. him! Oh no, because how did he get in what? in the first place? What the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer! Oh, really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it? Don't mess with me! I'll fucking kill you! See? You're making threats again. Yep, yep, that's right. Things are starting to get exciting! Good news, now you're allowed to use silencer. Yep, we already know what Sasha does. Just gonna do that. Make your arguments. This would be. During the party, the killer was lurking under the floor like a cockroach. And they could have stared at panties all day. Without going to uh -oh. the storage room in the dark. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! But when the party started... Nobody saw you, you know. That means you have no alibi! No, because... No, that's wrong! Yeah. No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Um, Chiaki. Oh, you're right. Huh? What happened, Fuyuhiko? Oh, hey, what are you doing here all alone in a place like this? Standing guard, so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Uh, how diligent of you. I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. Teru, Teru. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. It's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? Ch Shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. And he came to spy. What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no! <laughs> wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, it's, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. Then someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. During the party? It was probably during the blackout. Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. It was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. But I can't stop thinking about it. There's something I love to look for a second. It appears man. we're getting close to the final stage. The blackened or the spotless. Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. Alright, make your argument. Let's go. Fire door. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that... It's like making a seafood bowl without fish! Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? What a pain, I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? Oh. 
sounds impossible. Okay then. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room was like making a seafood. Is it really not? What if they used a strip? Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles. Thank fuck. What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? It definitely sounds impossible. Alright. The hallway was really dark during. Alright, so. Let's take a look. Oh, barely an iron plate for Q. Moving to the storage room like that is like making a seafood bowl. Is it really not? What if they used a strip? Maybe there was another pair of pain. I'm gonna go with my. What if they used a light? I agree yeah, with that. Right, right, that one. Which means he got from the kitchen, which means it was dead. The killer had a light with him. Oh, I was right? But where could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. 21st, 29th, 20th, 5th, 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 just to be well kept, there's no problem using it. It's the portable stove. Portable stove? The portable stove isn't powered by electricity, and it's also small enough to carry around. So, the killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the blackout. I see. I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. Huh? A hole. What kind of hole? It would be great if you could explain it to me. Teru, much Teru, please fucking stop. Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's really not a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime, will you battle against me? No, that's wrong. All right, okay. Will you be able to break through my argument? What do you mean by that? Unless someone is enjoying a game or something. Damn, there's no one going to lose against someone like him. Uh, storage room. Uh, huh. Did you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi was because the hallway was dark. So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Right on. After all, he was walking near the hallway, Fuck. right? The reason Kazuichi couldn't see the op was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? Allow me Fucking to cut through those words. Fire door. Someone shut the fire door. Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Huh? What are you talking about? There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they passed the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. I see. To actually notice the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate... Oh, you still don't remember your talent, do you? Who cares about that right now? Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. You sound so scary. We the ultimate death if you're rush. that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? You sure like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Hey, it's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. 
More importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. Hm. You're obviously the killer, right? If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it, no matter what it is. So you're telling me to call out the real killer? No, I really don't want to tell that person, but there's no other way, right? The person who used the hallway the fire door to cover their the use of the portable stove and move in the dark. It's like on the floorboard and stab the yuck and the death using glow paint like some more. The only killer I think of is... You and only you. You're the only one! Teru Teru, could it be you? Huh? What? What are you talking about? Teru Teru's the killer? Is that true? What are you talking about? There's no way! Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have an objection, please speak freely. Uh, objection or not, why am I being treated like the killer? Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. And she was That's in the kitchen? That's it? That's the only reason you're treating me like a killer? Isn't that a little drastic? You're cruel. Cruel. Too... Ah. Uh, oh, Teru. That attitude is so not like you. For the ultimate cook to get so upset. Call me chef. If you fall to aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? The future of the culinary arts. That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, you must face this and fight it fair and square. You, you're right. Yeah, that's totally right. So what's an aspersion anyway? Is it yummy? Did you know asbestos is yummy too? You should try some later. Yoko, stop it. Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light, and that they used the fire door to mask that light, and that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? It's dark under the floorboards, too. So how would they be able to stab Byakuya? You're not gonna say they shined the light on Byakuya, right? The plan would have been ruined if he noticed. That's right. What do you think about that? That's... There's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboards. No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. What? Shining a shining liquid, liquid in the dark? dark? That sounds super important! If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? And in doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. What was that mark? The paint! Right? Yeah, it would be the paint. Starting to mark. What was that mark? I can prove okay, it with this. I, I hate that the paint isn't evidence. The mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife. I hate right? that it's not evidence. Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark. I see. The killer didn't target an actual person. They just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? 
Well, Teru Teru! S seriously I don't know anything. Really, I don't know anything at all. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? You again? Just stop already! Please, you're making this go on now, way too long. Now, we should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. Oh, fuck you, Teru Teru. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? Him coming into the room near the end of it. Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the black... She heard... Teru Teru's Under the floorboard. The Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? Th that's right! That's exactly it! But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So... Why was he in the dining hall? I, I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen, so I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too, but somehow I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by licking their sweat. Stop it. Oh, if you want, you should try licking me. No way! You look greasy. But I heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall. Ibuki swears on her honor. That's right. Teru Teru was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means he's not the killer. No, that's not it. Wh why? Why do you want to keep falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to blame you. I just... You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. You're just progressing toward the hope you believe in. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? Okay. Make your arguments. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. Sounds pretty fishy. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. I heard from another floor? Nope, okay, that does not work. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the store? Yeah, There's good. no way I'm I was somewhere totally. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. Maybe it was a recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her test, the fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be just... Bitch. I'll shoot through that contradiction. Just because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Huh? Why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. But, 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 but... I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? Hold on a second. Can you explain this, Teru Teru? I told you to wait a second, ain't I? What are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you, I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. <laughs> Where are you from again? Ooh, I was born in West Asafu and raised in South Aoyama. Hey, you guys, this guy's a major liar. If Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned. Right well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. People's lives are at stake. Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories! His <laughs> accent is getting even worse! He's definitely lying! This is great! However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there. 
And I believe that he was not there. No. Oh, is there any way we can decide? Why don't we consult his memories? Ah, Shea, don't be saying things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? I probably can. Oh, you again! Whether or not Tirta was in the dining hall, I was like, I don't know, for sure, I know that you throw a question at him. I can prove it with this. If you're claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back, then you should know how Mikan was positioned at the time, right? Well, what? No! Don't make me remember. It's so embarrassing. No, this is a very important question. Well, Teru Teru, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? Huh? Um, it was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I showed you something so unsightly. Uh, how about it? You can't answer, Taru Taru? Um, um, huh? Uh, huh? <laughs> That's weird. Just slipped from my mind. There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a pervert like you. Uh, um, even so... Nagito, say something! Hmm. I guess you might have to give up now. Wait, give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. Kind of feels like a broken dream. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Well, ho hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided, right? The murder weapon hadn't been cleared up yet, Chef. It's no use. I can't understand him anymore. It appears he's saying. The murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. This is too She's cruel. She's growing mushrooms. Oh, you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? Come on, Manumi. Enough with the whimpering and translate. Um, he said, if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? The weapon, huh? It's not the knife, right? Judging from Pyakuya's wounds, it was a thin edged tool that's roughly five millimeters in diameter also if they stabbed from under the floorboards the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length after all this who cares about the weapon not good enough not good enough at all he said not good enough not good enough at all fine i got it let's try thinking about what the weapon oh we know what to do it what to do it um he said Try to do it. What a confusing accent. Yeah, we need to focus on this. Think about this. An edge tool. Yeah, yeah, the weapon. What is it? Oh, Hangman's Gambit. Skewer. Oh. Oh, meat skewer. Don't get a goddamn. Is this not meat skewer? The fuck? Can I speed this up, please? I can speed this up. Thank fuck. No, didn't think so. Okay, yeah, I'm right. Give me... I'm just doing this. What? The fuck? 
is that word? At this point, I'm kind of just fucking going insane. up it's a skewer of some kind but i don't know what that first word is and i feel stupid leave me alone this won't take me long hang it's getting a bit chapter one Come the fuck on, I know this is taking a while, I apologize. Oh, for fuck's sake. Floorboard. Iron. Skewer. It's fucking iron. I'm fucking stupid. I am sto- I- I should not- I- Who, who lets me play video games? I, I, I apologize. I switched it around. Yeah. Uh, let me guess. I get. Yep. Okay. We will never give up. I don't like that. That's one thing I don't care for this. When it comes to this thing. Anyway, whatever. Let's just fucking get this over with. Huh? I got it. The weapon must be the iron skewer. Huh? The iron skewer? Before the party, as Byagiyo was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Teru Teru. Check the equipment list, and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Yeah, as far as I know, they've been missing from the start. So that missing iron skewer is the weapon? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Teru Teru, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, Lavine! Avril Lavine? Huh? Did he really just say that? He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. Island sirens? Just for littering? Also, I was on guard duty. And I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building. Which means... He obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. It's probably the kitchen again, right? Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Oh! 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 We're near the end. We're going to up. Show it to you. We'll take it by. Your classmates. My... Uh... PTA, drink PTA, you can destroy your bonus shield. Straight for marks. Okay, yeah, this is just the uh, other thing. We can do this. Oh shit, I am sorry. Wait, I can only check the uh, which means it's already hidden some to find it. Good boy, good boy. Uh, first of all, we'll be finding a long weapon that's your. 
think. I'm not hiding a thing. He said, I'm not hiding anything. I'm not hiding a thing. I'm not hiding a thing. Two good territories. Uh, conclusion of instinct. That killer. Play the killer. Can I talk action? Shut up! That's impossible! Nonsense! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Paris Hilton! Shut up! That's impossible! Nonsense! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! This one's kind of Paris Hilton! No. Unforgivable! Where would the weapon be? Uh, oh, under me. What? Shut up! That's impossible! Nonsense! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Where would the weapon be? Uh, did, I, did I say on the meatball room? That's impossible! Let me do that up. Shut up! That's I'll impossible! Again. Maybe I just fucked it up. Where would the on weapon the be? Meat oh, on the bone meat. Sense. Okay. That makes sense. Unforgivable. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Paris Hilton. Where would the weapon be? On the. On the meat. What? Wait a minute. The meat on the bone. The meat on the bone. We will. It's meat on the bone. It's meat on the bone. Okay. Uh. Shut up. Ah, uh, fuck's sake. Could the iron skewer have been hidden? Inside the piece of meat on the bone. What are you saying? There's no way I'd hide anything. In a place like that? Th that's clearly impossible. I mean, that's inside the food. Impossible. That's what Biaki and I thought. That's why we overlooked it. Seems the shine on like food. I don't know what to do if I said fish bones and meat bones were a dangerous item. But in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepared, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is? The meat on the bone. What now? I'm using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now. So if we eat that tasty looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside... All right. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. One minute. Just give me one minute. I'll eat the whole thing. Wait, now hold on a second. Time out, time out. What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over. Uh, about that. Huh? Where did Monokuma go? I'm right here. I'm already eating it! Ah, a bear that eats meat! Uh, wait, now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. You poke you. Oh, no. oh, what is this? So yummy! Damn it! That's my meat! I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! 
The taste brings me back to my days in the wild. This, this is bad. Seriously, this is really bad. My, my. There's something inside the meat. Look what came out. <laughs> Isn't that... Is that an iron skewer? Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. The sword of destruction, encased in bone and sheathed in meat. It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya. As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you could blame this on me. Jeez, what a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Hey, Nagito. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? He said, you're all nothing but a bunch of poor loudmouth fast food eating hicks. You, you don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. Never, never, never turn away about cooking on your grid. Just deal with Nagato later, more importantly. We should first. I guess we need to settle this. Once and for all. I'm gonna see if there's nothing to settle, but. To do that, we need yeah. to go over the entire incident from beginning to end and make everything clear. Go over the entire incident, and then I can brute tear to his crown. That's right, if I don't do this, yep. So, we need to do it. Yep, okay. I, we know this part. We know this anyway. We. What's the hint, though? Closing argument. Oh, I can move panel. Okay. Okay. Fuck me. I'm stupid. Give me a second. Sorry, I got a text. Alright, uh... One of these has to be her hearing. Oh, there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just looked down at my phone. <laughs> then my mother sent me a fucking text saying, Do you know that porn up is an inch? <laughs> Fucking great. This one's, these are like kind of more useful, to be honest. They're interesting. Uh, building. Uh, 
storage room. No, storage room. So table or something about uh, dark. Last time, okay. No. So this. Here's everything that happened okay. in this case. Those are strange, but okay. Let's try going over the whole incident, beginning with right after the party started. Let's go. Yakia had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. But at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly capped the power usage. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. The air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for this. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. But when that happened, Biakia took out a specific item that he brought in his case. That item? was the night vision goggles. Byakuya was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. When he put on his night vision goggles, Byakuya witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamps. That's right. Everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan, so they knew a blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, the killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall. Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. That's right, a tablecloth to block the blood splatter. With this, the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps so there's no way they could have safely held a light source. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, 
The killer was able to get beneath the table. Under the table, Byakia found the knife that had been hidden there. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed, but he had to retrieve that knife. And at that moment... The killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabbed straight up with the iron skewer. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. After they murdered Byakuya, the killer purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward, they came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. There's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime, especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? That's what happened. How about it? Did I get anything wrong? Th this is a mistake. A mistake, I tell you. I would never, I would never kill anyone. Would never. <laughs> it seems this is the end. <laughs> it looks like your argument has come to a close. Oops! I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time! Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Oh, just a reminder, make triple sure you vote for someone. If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier. <laughs> Why did this happen? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart pounding excitement! Alright, so the voting. Gimmick is the same. All rise. Correct. That's right. This time, the black and responsible for killing Biakura Togami is Ter Ter Hanumura. You are you serious? Out of all these people, and you're saying you pounce like him at, and you're saying a pounce like him is the one who killed Biakua. Yeah. But, but <laughs> why did you kill him? You, you got it wrong. I'm telling you, it was a mistake. I was only trying to save you guys. Hey. I'm trying to stop Nagato from murdering one of you, huh? I'm trying to stop? What do you mean? I... I spent all morning in the old building preparing dishes for the party, and then. A weird laughter near the dining hall. When I peeked over there, I saw him. I saw Nagato in the middle of the clean room putting the knife under the table. I had a bad feeling about it, so I continued to watch what he was doing. I saw him place the irons he bought in, uh, he brought in the storage room, messed with the air conditioning timers. Plus, he was grinning, just grinning by himself the whole time. So I questioned him. And then happened, he. You caught me? No, I've been caught. What? They've been caught? Hey! What are you doing? What are you scheming? <laughs> I'm planning to kill someone, of course. Huh? <laughs> Terror Terror, just to let you know, it's pointless of you to stop me. If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. 
I'll never give up. Whether it's tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, or the day beyond that, I'll definitely start the killing. Impossible! Wait, no, no matter how much you want to leave this island, that's just... I see, so that's what you think. Well... well that's not it at all. This is about my survival. I just want to, I just want the killing to start. What? What are you saying? <laughs> I love everyone here. That's why I want to be good to you, good use to them. I love all the ultimates, and I admire them for being the symbols of hope. Amazing. That's right. In the name of hope, I love everyone's talent from the bottom of my heart. That's why. <laughs> I don't want them to lose against someone like that killing. I want them to provide, provide me the hope that, uh. Hope will never lose, no matter how daunting the despair of the face may seem. <laughs> I want everybody to prove to me that hope will never lose to despair. No, 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 what no, no. What are you no. saying? I don't understand at all. See? It isn't your typical that your face is a strong enemy. Maybe you would be even stronger yourself. Which means the stronger the despair of the face, you stronger everyone's hope will become, right? I. I want to see the brightness. In order to see it, I'm going to become everyone's stepping stone. I want to make your hopeless, your hope shine. It's simple as that. <laughs> That's right. I yearn for a powerful hope that can overcome any kind of despair. You're kidding, right? Are you kidding? Don't tell me. You're actually serious. Man. So you don't understand. That's fine. I don't really mind. <laughs> I'm just obsessed fanboy, so it's all so it's all right. This love of mine is unrequired unrequited. I suppose I can call the ultimate the ultimate ultimate fanatic. No way, no way, no way! There's something wrong with you. <laughs> really? Do you really think so? Do you really think there's something wrong with me? Hey. But, isn't that what love is? Nagato, what's the meaning of this? Explain it to me. I don't understand anything about the story at all. See? You see? I have a fa favorite boxer. You want to fight, uh, you want to fight against a strong opponent and win. Don't fuck with me! You, you better not compare us to that. What? Huh? Am I wrong? Isn't it given that trials are necessary to become strong? And the harsher the trial, the stronger you become, no? <laughs> for mere humans, killing are simply a tragedy, but for worth humans, a trial such as this can elevate their, their status to even higher levels. Amazing! It's amazing to me that someone as untalented as myself can give them that trial. There's no point in someone like me surviving. It's far more significant to me to die as everyone's trial. Great! There's no greater honor than becoming the foundation so that you, that your vile, your values may ascend to brave new heights. What's going on? Stop it. You're really starting to piss me off. What's going on? I don't understand at all. Are you saying you basically want to commit murder for fun? <laughs> it's not the same as someone killing for fun, but I guess it looked the same in your eyes. I... I have no intent of surviving and leaving you all to die. Is that why you didn't mind when Terrato discovered your plan? That's wrong. Perhaps that was intentional too. <gasps> So... Nako would want to involve us in the killing. Plus, it would be better for him if the, myster if the mystery was more complex. That's why you blamed revealed your plan to Terra Terra. You expected to uh, pique Terra Terra's uh, curiosity, and you look forward to the mystery becoming more complex. Oh. Well, basically, right? It's she I was looking forward to that. That's why I took the time to tell him about the secret passage I found when I was cleaning. What? As you're doing as well? You're right. I just casually mentioned it. Oh, it's dangerous to fall, so I didn't go close to it. Hey, 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 Seriously, batshit crazy. He's insane. I... That's right. So I tried to stop him, you know? However... But could you kill Byakyo instead? <laughs> I don't know. Because Nagato was the one who was supposed to take that knife. That's why I aimed at first iron who were there. Whoa! But why is Byakyo the one who died? It was supposed to be Nagato, not him. Byakyo. I would try to stop Nag Nagato from grabbing the knife. And then implicit Nagato. Nope. No, I don't think it's that. Huh? Perhaps. Bianca's trying to protect Nagato. What? Why do you say that? See? Because Bianca said so, didn't he? Don't worry. As long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much, I promise. <laughs> Could be. In order to keep that promise, mm -hmm. as long as he was wearing that night vision goggles, I'm sure he saw someone moving under the floorboards. That someone was Emmy for Nagato. Why? So. Byakyo gave his life to protect Nagato, even though he was trying to take the knife. <laughs> I see. Byakyo isn't amazing. To keep his promise to protect everyone, he actually threw his own life away. And yet... Such despair! I never and expected anything like this. Such despair. What? <laughs> but we shouldn't let him die in vain. I'm sure everyone becomes stronger by overcoming this despair. No way. Be 
You knew Biaka would protect you, so you set him up to fail? Someone like me. Of course not. I'm not good at calculating. I just took some for cautionary measures. The results of that were going to be in fun for later. Just kidding. How unexpected. But I never expected it would take a turn like this. I never thought I'll be the one to survive. But since it was my life that had been saved, I didn't want to just waste it. So I decided to help Teru Teru. Why? Why? <laughs> well, because Teru Teru decided to commit his crime. Because he also has strong hope, right? Which means his actions were motivated by hope. If he's willing to go that far, I thought he might truly be the person who exists I was waiting for. <laughs> I thought he might be the hope that could defeat any type of despair. In order for me to confirm it, I decided to help Teru Teru. What do you mean, confirm? Just stop it already. Well... Plus, I couldn't really help myself when I was so empathetic to Teru. After all, he wanted to kill me, but he ended up killing by Byakyo and said, you know, I left him in the confused state. This trial might have been ruined, right? Isn't that right? But in order for our hope to grow, this trial was absolutely necessary. That's why I decided to help him. I told him, I don't care if I die, so you should just focus on escaping this island. Right? Those were my exact words soon before the investigation. Isn't that right, Teru Teru? Man. In the end, my help just wasn't enough, and this turned out to be bad ending for Teru Teru. <laughs> but you should be proud of yourself. You will not die in vain. Great! You become a splendid sacrifice for everyone else so their hopes can grow even more powerful. Impossible! S sacrifice? Shut up! Shut up! Seriously, stop it already. I'm going crazy just listening to you. Hey, hey! Hey. Is it really okay for us to just leave this crazy bastard alone like this? Huh? Isn't it better if we, if we just fucking kill him off? Yeah! Yeah, he said. High school students are so violent these days. <laughs> but the person's gonna get killed it now isn't isn't it now isn't Nagato. It's Teru Teru. <laughs> What's the matter? You didn't forget, right? Because I already told you at the beginning, right? The black and killer loses. A fun punishment awaits them. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. That no, no. was, should I put it, an accident, um, an act of self-defense, uh, not intentional. Anyway, I feel possible if it's not my fault. Hey! It doesn't matter if it's an accident, self-defense, or intentional. A murder is still a murder. If you kill someone, that's murder. Hey, hey! But, isn't there anything like simply judgment? Uh, ex uh, ensuring circumstances? Or maybe even for, uh, probation? Impossible! I don't accept any of those claims. Th that's... Uh, hey! Same you guys. I was only trying to stop Nagato, so. Why? Be you? honest. After learning about Nagato's plan, you saw an opportunity, right? Probably thought nobody would find out if you killed him after messing up his plan, right? That's why you thought, right? Wrong! You're wrong, I. Hmm. There's no way a person with no malice would kill someone like that. <sighs> In truth, you were just desperate to kill Nagato and willing to sacrifice everyone else to survive, right? Just be honest already, at least in the end. No, 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 no. That is. T Teru, Teru. Why? If only you didn't try to kill Nagato, Biaki would still be alive. Why'd you try to commit murder? Answer me, Teru, Teru. I just wanted to go home. I needed to go back home no matter what. Because she's waiting for me. Mama is waiting for me at home. She's waiting all by herself. For the day I graduate, hopes be Academy and come home. Okay, I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Oh my, you're still talking about that? Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees success for its graduates, right? So? I know it's gonna be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom, you don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again while I'm gone? I'll be fine. Moms are strong. I won't lose to some illness. <laughs> I know that already. Why are the first deaths always so depressing? There was like some, they've been self defense both times. I know that already. I promised. I promised her I'd become a full fledged cook and save the Hanamura Diner. Mama is waiting for me to keep that promise. Even though she's sick and alone, she's still waiting for me. 
That's why I need to go home. Teru, Teru. But, but her total memories were stolen. And that several years have passed since the first day. Hey. But what happened to the Hanumula Diner? What happened to my mom, who's still waiting for me? So you did believe what one of them was said. Damn it! You're saying all along it's okay. I'll never believe something like that. So why? Wrong. I still don't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. It has to be a lie. That's why I wanted to go home. I wanted to go home and confirm it. Make sure it was all just a lie. I want to make sure that I still have a place to call home. Teru, Teru, you. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's not a Teru, Teru, do I believe it? You believe it more than anyone else here. That's why I kept denying it. Because he believed it. You needed to deny it. Damn it. If only, if I only knew how he felt, something like this would never happen. I wanted to, wanted to confirm by any means necessary. I had to do something. That's when I heard Nagato's plan. Found out he was going to kill someone, and if I left him alone, that's why. That's why. Fine, fine. So you wanted to kill first. I'm sorry. Yes. It doesn't mean I want to sacrifice any of you, but it's the only thing I could do. In the end. I ended up killing Byakia instead of Nagato. Ah, uh, I see. I think I'm the one who went crazy. Teru, Teru. <laughs> Interesting, but as far as motives to kill are concerned, I want to see your mom is so boring. What? So, Yahoo! There's no point in basking in the afterglow. Let's hurry up and begin the punishment. You can't! No, you can't. Jeez, get out of my way! Well now. Not only sister has been dealt with, let's begin. Let's get back to business. Oh, wait. Hold on a sec. I'm not asking for fear anymore, but at least. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. For Teru Teru Haramura, the ultimate cook. Hey. Call me chef. No, wait. That's not what I. P please. Please tell me what happened to the Haramura diner to Mama. Let's give it. Lies! I won't believe this! I, I won't believe it. Mama! I don't know how I feel about that. Hold on. Extreme! Yeah! <sighs> the adrenaline is rushing through me. Damn it! Are you fucking serious? Blah, 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 blah. How cruel. Why did you do something so cruel? Wah, wah? Did you didn't you learn from when you're in elementary school? If you bad mouth someone, the teacher writes it in a note and makes whoever you bad mouth read in front of the class. No. When that happens. Only thing you can do about it is feel is about how to feel to be bad mouth. 
Same applies to murder. What are you saying? You're the only you're the one who drove him to do it. <laughs> so cruel, this is just too cruel. Nice! No, well, it can't be helped. Rules are rules, and this is a killing rule after all. <laughs> rule. You're the one who's breaking the rules. Hmm? Can't just let that slide. What do you mean? Mention the motive. Did you also promise something? However, it's a catch. Don't tell me the catch is. Figured it out yet? That's right. I have you guys kill each other. That's my bargaining point. You guys want to know, right? You want your school to return to you, right? Then you better start killing. A penny for your thoughts, a murder for your memories. Why didn't you tell Terra Terra about his mom or his diner? He had a right to know. He had us too. We all have a right to know. Bastard! Shut up and tell us. What do you mean earlier when you mentioned our school memories? <laughs> I did promise him to turn your memories after killing began. <gasps> you can do it. The telling was kind of. <laughs> but I never told you guys what I tell you right away. What? Not fair. It's not fair. Of course. I thought I promised to return your memories someday. But. Still not clear what that someday will actually be. <laughs> Must excuse myself for a while. There's something that I need to do. Huh? What the heck? S so it's not cruel. fair. They both ran away. Then. Monokuma has it wrapped around his finger after all. Stupid. Taro, Taro, you stupid. Such despair. It all ended like this, just full of despair. A seriously tragic despair. But still, at times like this, <laughs> it's a symbol of hope you guys need to keep doing your best. You. You. Why are you smiling? Crap! Why can you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Nope. Hold on. I'm sad too, you know. Didn't I tell you? From the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. You ultimate who inspire hope and your splendid talents. There's no way I could be happy when you've lost such a talented individual. Don't fuck with me! Don't go say creepy shit. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Please, kill me anytime. What? Uh-huh. <laughs> if you hate me, I don't mind you killing me. I've already prepared myself to become a stepping stone. Someone like me? If a bandit hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special. Mm. You. How messed up are you? Hey. However, if you're not gonna kill me, make sure you discuss it with me beforehand. You see... Do that, then I can cooperate with the killer. Are you seriously attained to help the killer? <laughs> it's really not a big, big, that big of a deal. If you're still hope, you can me. If you're the, the symbols of hope, possess the chosen talent. Great! Then it shouldn't matter if you guys are all cooperating with the killer, right? You fiend. Declaration of so confidently you side with the killer. Hey! Maybe this was all part of his plan all along. If he's willing to do the work with the killer, he wants to think it's better for us to not... To not to kill him. Well, well, I don't mind what you think of me. In actuality, thanks to Biyaku, I'm starting to feel a small desire to live. This is exciting! Honestly, I just want to watch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you. One after another. <laughs> just kidding. You pissed me off. Hey, can I punch you? I just won't be satisfied till I punch you. Fine. Let's stop this already. It's gonna be a waste of time if we keep dealing with him. What? And Hajime hates me now? How unfortunate. That stings. I feel like you and I were quite similar. What does that? Isn't that right? I have a special feeling towards Hope Free Academy. Just like me. Don't put me in the same category as you. Hey. But how can you say you're not? One of you said it yourself. We don't know anything about each other's true natures. <laughs> no. If it's true that our school memories were stolen, it's the same as not knowing our true selves, too. Especially for you, right? Someone can't even remember what his talent is. Okay. Please feel free to punch him. Uh, Will do. Wait. Oh, hold on. Please stop. Please stop this at once. Nothing will come fight like this. There. There is someone else we must do. Huh? Something else. Please listen. We cannot argue with each other in a place like this. There is something more important we must do. Let me ask. Which is do our best. You fiend. Huh? Well? We must first leave here, get some rest, and then we shall work together and do our best. Do our best we never have to come back here again. Perhaps. This is what I believe we must do right now. I am sorry. If 
filling her with better motivational speech here. No, that really touched my heart. You're totally right. We need to do what's right, right now. So fast. Do our best it's definitely gonna pay off, right? Yes. That's right. Like But what do we have to work hard at? <laughs> I do not know. But we must do our best. Jeez. I don't get you at all. Are you some kind of moron? Well That's fine if you don't know. The matter is that you hold on to that feeling that you do your best. Right? So let's do our best. Let's begin let's make sure a killing like this never happens again. But it's scary, but Doing our best is only op is it our only option. There's no way I'm doing what Nagato said. I'm gonna do it. All right. I don't know what we're talking about, but let's do our best for now. Fine. Very well. Even if we're not able to change the future, we should at least change my tomorrow. <laughs> Damn fiends! I won't give up until I, at the very end. I won't die in vain. I'll give my entire existence, my entire power, my entire body and soul to fighting to the very end. Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together and leave this island. Do our best. I kept using that phrase over and over again, even though we knew they were just cheap, meaningless, uppity words. Regardless, we still said it. We continue to say it over and over again without stopping. Thus, the curtain has fallen upon the class trial where Pyakyo and Teotel were sacrificed. Afterwards, we had the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Chaparok Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our colleges. After experiencing something like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of bed, and began walking around the hotel grounds for no reason. After not doing much of anything, I totally looked up at the sky. And there, just like before, there it was, the night sky breaming with stars. The stars that looked like they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. I looked up. It's a beautiful sky night. I can go anywhere. That thought crossed my mind for some reason. The sky's connected anywhere, even in my daily life. That's why I might be able to go home. That's right. I'm definitely going to go home. That's when it happened. I stared up the night sky. I felt a strange converge of, sens of a sensation. And then, I can understand the sky. My entire body stiffened with that sensation. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? Nineteen days left. 